we're a growing business and therefore we're going to need more people. Okay? Um, but, and I'm going to be very honest about it, if we have two people doing the same job, we'll look at to see if we can retrain people uh, into other roles. Um, but if we can't, then we may have to let some people go. But I think you've got to look at it in the context of the fact that we are insourcing, bringing back into the Caribbean 200 jobs uh, call centre. Uh, we haven't decided which uh, island to put that on at the moment, but it's either between Barbados and Jamaica. Um, we are insourcing all our engineering. Um, so in the past, Cablewise outsourced that to third-party contractors. We're bringing those jobs uh, into the into the home home company, if you like. We are building a technology centre in Trinidad to train and develop engineers in association with the University of the West Indies. And net net net. We will, be a we will create over 500 jobs in the Caribbean over the next two years. So, yes, there will be some people that may have to get deployed, and I'm not saying if we have you know, a store that literally is next to each other. If I take St. Lucia, we have literally two stores next to each other. We only need one, and there may be, uh, I'm afraid if we can't redeploy people, there may be people leaving. But that isn't the story of what this merger is about. The story of this merger is about investment and bringing first-class, world-class telecommunications to Barbados. We could have gone with Flow or Lime, well, one choice. We could have gone Flow and Lime, and maybe kept Lime as the mobile and Flow as the TV. And we could have gone with a new brand. Um, you know, I, we took the view that spending a lot of money on a new, completely new brand was a waste of money when we could put money into our stores, into our training, into our development of our business. Um, having two brands doesn't make a lot of sense. You waste your advertising money, you have to spend it twice. Um, and when it came to the choice between Lime and Flow, we asked our customers, we asked our employees, um, we looked at what the data said about customer service, um, and the, the reality is that whilst Lime has a heritage, Flow has a, um, more attributes around innovation, more attributes around value for money, more attributes about um, good service, and those are the attributes we want across the company. Uh, and so, as we, uh, we literally, by the end of t tomorrow, you know, we, we are expecting 95% of all our line signage to have been removed in the island. Barbados is a very important market. Um, it's the first launch of the new brand, the first island to do that. Uh, it'll be the first island with fibre to the home, the first island with LTE and fibre. Uh, and then we will roll the um, the flow of branding across all our old line cable and wireless markets. So one by one, we'll be launching, uh, we'll be uh, withdrawing line and launching flow. If you go down to our stores today, you will find that they have been rebranded flow. Our vans, our, our uniforms for our employees, um, and all our billboards will all be uh, turned to flow and the deep blue. Uh, a flow. And we'll, start, we'll launch a new advertising campaign tomorrow that really captures the essence of the Caribbean and what we call this is, this is how we flow, this is how we live, this is how we have fun, this is how we connect with our communities, this is how we flow. So, so we're all very excited and you've probably got a sense of that today. We've had uh, over 500 colleagues here um, talking about the new brand and the new, uh, the new, the new company. So. Let me finish at that point and turn it over to questions. We're, we're very happy to be here and having Barbados as the first amongst the Caribbean. Uh, 18 months ago, so I'm new to the telecoms industry, I'm new to cable and wires, I'm not old cable and wires. Uh, I used to run British Gas, um, before that I worked for DMG in the drinks industry. Um, we have a call centre in Trinidad already um, with Flow, but Cable and Wireless had outsourced its call centre to El Salvador, which you will know is not very near the Caribbean, uh, and that was not a decision that I support, and so we are reversing that. So just as we're reversing the outsourcing of engineers in the field, we're also reversing that decision, and we're going to bring it back. Now, the, your point about training is, is, is a good one. Um, we want to make sure our... Our employees have got the right attitude, positive attitude, the can-do, the help, the energy, and understand the differences, the nuances, the accents, the, 
the cultural differences you know and I know, having spent time in the Caribbean. Trinidad is very different to Jamaica, and Barbados is different to St. Lucia, and uh, long, may, long may we have those differences across the Caribbean. It's that diversity that, that we like. But we aren't, you know, we aren't going to put a call centre on every island. But what I would say is in our stores, we do have people there trained as well who can help with custom service in each island as well. But the, you know, there's a critical mass you need to run a call centre and uh, each individual island probably doesn't warrant that in and of itself. So, put customers at the heart of the company and I firmly believe that we're not a technology company, we're a customer service business. And local number portability is a big issue for me because essentially we were locking people in to a, a number um, and not allowing freedom, to freedom of choice. And that isn't right. Uh, so when I joined, um, I committed us to embracing local number portability, uh, embracing what's called OTT over the top. So these are things like Facebook or Netflix or Viper or all this technology that runs on our network um, that essentially we don't get paid for, but it, we provide a service. And there's, there are parts of the world where to try and block OTT. Um, we don't think we should do that. We should embrace technology, uh, not, uh, not prevent its progress. So on local, no, uh, local number portability, we've already launched it in Jamaica. Um, it's gone very well. I'd like to see us move to one phone in, in the Caribbean. Everyone's got two phones. They've got a digi phone and they've got a line, or now to be a flow phone. But once you've got local number portability, you don't need two phones, especially if you're not charging a differential rate between a, a call that lands on your own network versus a call that lands on somebody else's network. Now, traditionally, our competitors always charge quite a big differential between the two which meant that everyone has either a line, what was a line phone now, a flow phone, or a digital cell phone. But actually, there's no reason to do that. There's no reason. So local and portability, um, it, it, ensuring that we have equal rates between on-net and what we call on-net and off-net, they're the things that we're moving towards. And technically, we're pretty much, I was talking to our technical people, we're pretty much ready for local and portability. Um, in, in mobile, we're ready. Um, in fix, it takes a bit longer simply because we've got a lot of kit around the islands, a lot of exchanges where we've got to do quite a bit of work. Um, you know, you can get a Huawei uh, Y300 for um, less than 100 US dollars uh, into, into the stores. But that's a, it's a good phone. It's not iPhone, but it's a very good smartphone. Um, and 90% of our phones now. Uh, we're selling out of our stores as smartphones, so that opens. That's the point. That, that opens up social media and the downloading of uh, content and the like. And you know, very soon everyone will have a smartphone. So smartphone prices have been falling. Um, it's true that Apple phones are expensive. Um, but we have the exclusivity in the Caribbean on Apple, and it's still very much a an aspirational product for a lot of people. Um, in if I take Bahamas. I think 70% of our phones are either Samsung or, 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 or Apple. Um, here in Barbados, it's, it's less than that. But we have got, we absolutely have got affordable handsets. And the thing now is, it's scale. You know, we have 4 million mobile subscribers, and the industry is a scale industry. Um, and we only, so with 4 million mobile, we've only got 400,000 TV subscribers. So the ability to cross sell into a bigger uh, category like mobile, our, our fixed line services and our TV entertainment services is a big opportunity for us. And I think that cross-sell, that's why we wanted one brand, that cross-sell opportunity I think, um, I think is going to get quite interesting for us.